Hello everyone, glad to have you with me. Seek you too much, you're back at it again with Shahansha uh, Shah Vandad, the Sword of Zoroaster of the Karen Empire. And before we get started, guys, please remember to like and subscribe. Your support really helps me to keep going. And if you would like to support me even further, please do check out my Patreon. But all right, guys, so in the last episode, we really didn't do too much. Um, we uh, went around, we did some investments. Uh, I invested in my son's new mercenary company. Um, his daughter-in-law gave birth to another one of my children. Um, I put down some revolts. I attacked some of these raiders and that's what I'm going to continue to do. Um, we have a cumin, our Kuman raider, um, who was harassing my vassals. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of these guys. We have to make sure that people know Persia is a safe place for Persians. You can't mess with us. Um, and as I've been telling you guys, uh, we, this this will be a couple of boring episodes. Uh, I'm just waiting for my threat level to go down so that I can expand farther into Iraq uh, and declare myself the Sayoshant. Uh, in the last episode, we also saw the Abbasids uh, enter Constantinople and the idiot Caliph didn't take it for himself. So... This might be a resurgence of the episodes. We will see. This will definitely pay dividends for them. Uh, what is this? So the Maimobad wants me to burn him. I have no reason to do this. So I think I'm going to tell you to calm down. You should be focused on converting, not burning heretics. Oh, I need a new spy master. Uh, let's go ahead and give that to Mehrab. Oh, hold on. Ooh, although he's my commander, so actually I don't know if I should give it to him. Uh, I will give it to Jahandar. Uh, I think he is set to marry my daughter. Matrilineally, possibly. Yeah, so that could be that could be good, although he's a little crazy. And he's ambitious, so hopefully he won't uh, do anything too crazy. But we'll wait and see. Perhaps I should build some walls for my guys out here if they're going to be dealing with rebels all the time. Oh, look at that. They raised their levies to join in with us. Uh, okay. I mean, all of these look pretty solid, to be honest. Maybe they don't need any walls. Yeah, they actually all look pretty solid, so maybe I won't invest too much in them. I would love to build um, another great work down here in Khoisistan. Uh, maybe one of these grand great harbors or uh, trade posts. I think a great harbor could be good here, and then a great lighthouse here. But I need... How much? I need... Uh... Oh, so, okay, so we won that battle. Let's now send these guys into here, get them out. How much would the harbor be? Also, an underground city could be cool. Uh, where is that Grand Harbor? Where was it? It was just here as an option. Oh, here, Great Harbor, about 3,000. Okay, so I could probably swing that. <clears throat> I just have to wait a little bit. Uh, okay, what is this? Satrap Ferdows has requested that a lower rank vassal serve him directly. He's in Elam. And you are... Uh, um... Are you his de jure liege? Herat... Merv's all the way up there. And um, I think I'll impress you with vague promises. Yeah, you have no business having him as a vassal. No, I'll I'll keep I'll go ahead and keep him for myself. Alright, so we're gonna kick him out of here. Yeah, you're not going to be safe, my friend. 
Also, we get some other raiders up here. I think these are just nomadic raiders. I don't think they're adventurers or anything like that. Yeah. Interesting. So he has sympathy for Mazdan religions. Well, that won't save him. Okay. And once we've crushed them, we'll send these guys up north. Oh, snap. All of a sudden, I get... Where did I get 500 gold from? Did I just inherit that from someone? Did any of you see that? Did I all of a sudden get a bunch of war? Or a bunch of money? Super weird. Ah, and he won that war. So now he is a... Is he a tributary of... Okay, I think it looks like he possibly won that war, but it didn't fire because the leadership changed. That was weird. Because they were fighting each other to... He was fighting to make him uh, a tributary, which would definitely have some geopolitical ramifications if he could bring him into war. These guys together could defeat me, but separate, not quite. All right, and we have a marriage request. My daughter, uh -huh. well, it looks like I agreed to that before. So we can go ahead and go through with that. He is a pretty strong warlord. All right, and how are we doing with our uh, grand university? Okay, 51% done. Hopefully we'll live to see it. Uh, I'm probably going to name it after myself. So maybe like, uh, Vandad University <laughs> or something like that. You know what? I'll, I'll think about the name. I'll name it later. Maybe once it's actually built, I, I will name it. And I'll Google it. Probably, I'll, maybe I'll find out the Persian word for university and then name it after Vandad. Oh, okay, so we have another revolt. I would love to move in <sighs> a little bit more. Oh, that's a big revolt. I could move in and pick up the kingdom of Kashmir, but I, I really got to let my threat level go down. I can't keep expanding into India. All right, another battle. All right, we're down to 83%. I think if we can get down to under 75, maybe we could attack the Abbasids again without worrying about it too much. All right, I'm going to go into meditation. All right, and hopefully my vassals can maybe take advantage of some of our weaker neighbors. All right, well, I don't see any more uh, raiders on our borders. So I think I'll go ahead and call my troops down. And send these guys home. So now I'll be making some extra money. And sorry again, guys. As always, my computer's super slow. I still don't fully understand what exactly happened because it didn't used to be like this. But uh, as I keep saying in every episode, <laughs> hopefully in the near future, I'll have that fixed. Uh, lower my chair a little bit. Okay. All right, well, time for the long march home. That's going to take them a while. So let's see, we're leaving on October 25th. We'll see what time we actually end up getting back home. Uh, I'll probably also have some higher, uh, higher monthly rate. Oh, yeah, 64. That's pretty good. It's probably going to go up even more, yeah? Nope, nope. Is that about it? 64. That's still really good, though. Could be better for an empire our size and its location, but not bad. All right, our regency has ended, and one of these days I'm going to become diligent. Okay, I'm also glad that we got the succession thing figured out. We can also go ahead and take a quick look at our laws here. Um, okay, some people would support this. I, I really would like to get the titles. Let's try to get Jahandar on our side. And maybe I can start rolling back some of these laws. He doesn't have much stake. 
because he doesn't have any power. Yeah, yeah, so he would accept. And do I have any other open? Oh, yeah, nice. Okay, I have two open advisor positions. So let's fill those with loyalists. Or maybe one loyalist, one powerful guy. Oh, yeah, let's go ahead and get uh, Kavad and the guy from Oguz. Okay, so now we can roll that back. So revoke titles. This is a game. This will be nice. I'm really tired of having to ask permission to do that. Usually, if there's a good reason, they will let me imprison someone. So I think I can put that on the back burner for now. But we'll try to slowly roll this back in the next couple of years. Maybe I can uh, get imprisonment, then execution, banishment, war declaration, then abolish the council completely. And maybe start to get the uh, voice royalties all the way down to douche, uh, duchies. Uh, ooh. So my wife is just visiting people all over the place. Uh, I don't think we need to get to know you. You don't really seem very important. Uh, all right. My son, Meraz, Me Mech, Mecher, Mecherzad. Uh, ooh, he needs to get a real person to train with all right nice so we have had that approved that's great i feel like in the vanilla game it's usually not a problem uh when i have to revoke someone's title but in game of thrones in the game of thrones mod it is okay hold up a second jeez i'm so tired of how slow this is that's Kambi's. And here is Meherzad. All right, we need to get you a good trainer. Okay, I don't understand this. Oh my god. A sign guardian. All right. Oh, damn. Esf Esfandiar. We need to get him some land. Is he married? Yes, he is. And he is a daughter. Okay. Probably eventually he's going to earn himself some land, but we won't be doing much conquering. But he's an old guy. He's, he's, he's not too old. He's only 41. So maybe in the future. Uh, okay, so the Abbasids are also making a little bit of a comeback here. I mean, 17,000 men, it's not like a crazy amount, but it's not nothing. He's also dealing with a couple of wars. Uh, he's fighting against this guy. Ooh, he actually has a decent amount of men too. That's interesting. And also a liberation revolt. Okay. Oh, look at that. My hair has turned white. I also need to change my thumbnails um, with the imperial title, but I haven't. Ooh. Okay. So China is kind of withdrawing from the world for now. I really was hoping that I could get the Abbasid girl pregnant. I'm going to try to sway her a little bit because it would be nice to combine our two dynasties. Uh, I'm going to give her a title and maybe also give her some money. And maybe I can kind of win her over a little bit. And do I have one more Abbasid? Yeah, okay. I should also be able to get her too. So let's also give her a little bit of money. Ooh, that would... <laughs> she really likes money, I guess, because she's greedy. Uh, okay, so... Sh no, I, I don't know who you are. You are to some random, inconsequential people. Okay, so we're almost home. It took us... Wow, it took us a long time. Like nine months to get all the way from up there to down here. Okay, well, we can start construction on the Great Harbor 
I think basically any week now. Wait. Here we go. Oh no. Oh, it's a little more than I thought it would be. Well, not too much longer. Not too much longer. The Great Harbor we definitely won't live to see, but this one, maybe, maybe we'll get to see it. Ooh, we get another little raider up here. Maybe I should go send my guys up. Oh, damn, there's a big war going on. 29,000 men. All right, perhaps it's time I asked uh, Jahera to spend some time with me. Yeah, I will ask her. Hafez. Ah, whoa, okay. So he is going to the Pretty Harans for the conquest of Malwa. Where is Malwa? So it's possible we might have to deal with one of these random uh, Turkic or Shia invasions. For the kingdom of Malwa. Hold up, where is that? Okay, that would be interesting. Random location. And, and it looked like he spawned out of here. I, I unless, unless one of you guys saw that they spawned from somewhere else. So maybe we can pretend like I helped him get set up. And he's Persian. So maybe I rounded up all of the Persian Shias and said, go to India. Go. I'll, I'll give you money. I'll give you weapons. Just get all the Persian Shias out and go to India. Uh, okay, so let's go take out these guys. We got to protect the king of Armenia. So when can I pass another law? Okay, in five years. I think these days have really helped me get, uh, getting, have helped me to get to know Jahara, appreciate me better. Uh, hold on, I totally, I think these days have really helped me getting Jahara to know and appreciate me better. This is, the sentence doesn't make any sense. Okay, so sorry I couldn't offer you a more lavish welcome. Or you really look like a trustworthy Shadokt. Let's do that one. We have to win her over to our side so we can have an Abbasid Karen baby. I would love to change my sigil. It's so boring, but... I guess one torch is the faith and one torch is the empire. And together we light the way or something. Oh, they've already lost a... Oh, no, no. He's got nine here. I would love to join his war. I don't think it'll let me, though. But... Good for him. We'll have to see what happens. He definitely has a chance of succeeding. Um, but they also have a lot of men. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so where is this liberation of revolt against the Abbasids exactly? The Abbasids are so weird, dude. They have, like, stuff here, here, here. Now up here, it's like a weird, like, loose affiliation of little kingdoms. Oh, Layla might be fancying me. Oof, oh my god, this is, this is fucked up. She's like an inbred... Girl doesn't know what's going on, and my guy wants to take advantage of her. And it looks like he succeeded. <laughs> my guy's a horn dog. Um... So I think he would do it. I don't think he sees any qualms about having sex with a girl who has mental problems. So that's unfortunate. You know, I, I wonder if back then that he would really conceive that that might be a bad thing. I don't think he would since it was so long ago. Uh, Mike, I think he's also greedy. So that could also lead him to make some bad decisions. Yeah, he's greedy and lustful, and he's a man in power, so, yeah. Okay. Wow, so, I what exactly are the stakes here? It's just, it's against the tyranny? Yeah, okay, so, that's 
interesting. I mean, the whole kingdom is basically ripped in half. If my guys were smart, they would attack for that. Uh, is there some douchey I could make? Okay, once they're at peace, I could usurp that, I think. Okay, and where are our, where are our, that's hard to say, where are our soldiers? Oof, okay, so Layla is with child. That kid is not going to come out well. Oh my god. Oh, look at that, Armenia is stepping up, but I guess they know we have men on the way. All right, let's go ahead and check our factions as well. Uh, okay, nothing serious. Some gavel kind. Some people trying to put uh, Jahandar the Whisperer on the throne, but nothing too serious. Ooh, okay, one of my commanders has allowed a uh, lack of disciplines in the ranks. Oh, the King of Thrace is still kicking. King Fernando of Thrace, good for him. Ooh, wow, I didn't notice this, but Jerusalem has... Uh, been cut down a notch. Looks like the Tulanids are moving in. Ah, that would be interesting to have the Tulanids go from Egypt to... Oh. Okay, so we have some kind of revolt happening here. Uh, it just looks like typical... Typical stuff. Someone tried to revoke a title. Okay. So I'll send these guys back. Well, we're in pretty good shape. Yeah, I'm going to save up for that harbor. I mean, we're in a really good position because um, pretty much anything that's coming from India or from China will probably go through here so that it can move on to the Muslim world and then to uh, Europe. If we can get a nice harbor on this side and if we and get into the Mediterranean, we could have a total monopoly on trade because, I mean, right now we already do. Uh, Hoysistan is basically the only game in town I, when it comes to merchant states on this side of the of the world. If we could get a merchant city over here, we could start competing against Pisa and Genoa and Venice and maybe also get a monopoly over there and get a hell of a lot of money. So building this harbor here will definitely increase the trade. Oh. Hold on a second. Oh, I can already build a ruler statue. That would also be cool. Maybe I will build one in Dihistan, because that's where we uh, started, but, you know, we'll see. So he wants, she wants to marry this guy matrilineally. Yeah, we could do that, so you can further your, uh, your dynasty. Okay, we can also increase our military organization and noble customs, so let's do that. And just a couple more months until we can build this. Yeah, I'll go ahead and, and get it started. I will also build a lighthouse, I think, too. But, oh, okay, I'm going to go visit my, my new lover. And see if we can help her with give birth to her, or my son or daughter. All right, so a great harbor with storehouses will dominate trade in the area, thus bringing in revenues. It can also increase our maritime and military capabilities. That sounds good. And then this also increases taxation. It is a couple more months. I wonder if he will... I don't think that it will affect his opinion of me or anything, but it'll also be cool to just have, like, great works kind of dotting the empire. I, I'm kind of... Want, I'm thinking about building a garden up here, a great garden on the coast here, maybe a big fortress up in the Caucasus somewhere. Yeah. Uh, oh, Zorosht has proposed that we send more troops. Uh, okay. Oh, so I'll have to spend some money. Have you had a single contract yet? What? You don't have any men. Oh, 
Ooh, look at that. So I had a bastard daughter. Uh, wait a minute. Hold on. Okay, you know, he does have men. It's weird. All right, Noor. That's a cute name. Okay, and she doesn't have any genetic problems, so that's good. Should I legitimize her? That might be going a bit too far, but I will acknowledge her as mine. Okay. And perhaps I could find her a good match somewhere. Yeah, maybe she can marry an artist. Oh, you know what? No. I can marry one of my real daughters to, to him. Uh... Oh, or he, oh, or the Tarkarian boy. Yeah, that's a good match. He's he's Tarkarian. He, similar culture, similar religion. Okay, that'll be a good match. Okay, and we'll get a little bit closer to our Abbasid uh, concubine. Okay, and we're almost ready. Okay, there we go. Oh, look. I'm winning my concubine over. All right, so let's go ahead and start uh, this in Khoisistan. Yes. All right. Okay, this is so cool. Okay, so we have two great works being built at the same time. Hopefully that won't bankrupt us. <laughs> but okay, nice. Well, all right, guys. I think I'm going to go ahead and get going. Uh, we invested... In another great work, I had a bastard daughter. Uh, we killed all of the um, rebels that were going around. Or not rebels, raiders. And now we have a, a son, Kambis, who turned out pretty well, who needs a wife. Maybe Oktan. Yeah, this could be a good one. Her father is... Uh, Not too impressive, but he has some men. Uh, he's a famous warrior, so, you know, we res we can respect that. And it's good to have relations with the, the, the nomads up here. Oh, I didn't realize that I had this. Ooh, okay, so we should probably build some castles up here to make sure that that stuff stays in. Um, and Kambis, for now, I'm not gonna give you anything... Um, I'll, maybe I'll build him a castle. I can do that at least. Uh, but all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and call this episode for now. Thank you so much for watching. And then, you know, in the next one, we'll keep just waiting for this to go down. This is at 79. Um, I think just a couple more years and, uh, we'll be able to start attacking again. I think it has to be under 50. Uh, but all right, guys. Uh, well, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.